Before you handsome and beautiful people listen to the podcast, first, let's talk about Factor. With Factor, you can skip the extra trip to the grocery store and the chopping, prepping, and cleaning up as well, while still getting the flavor and nutritional quality that you need. Get 50% off with code OPTIC50 at factormeals.com slash OPTIC50. Everything, everything feels like it's like semi falling apart. It does. Slowly but surely. <laughs> it does feel that way. It does feel that way. Across all games. Across though. all games. All games. All games. All games. All games have this problem. Different orgs. Like. like it just feels like everything's like just near? weird. What are we doing next? I don't think the end is near. I think the I think the restart is near. The restart. I think the restart is near, which I think is needed, but. What does a restart look well, like? Well, so the restart is mainly, at least people are saying, is mainly based around player salaries because people are overpaying paying their players, and then on the back end of things, it's making it harder to do other things in the business because they're overpaying their players, mm-hmm. and it's like. Yo, yo, back again, episode 140 of the Optic Podcast, and let's go ahead and get the white elephant out of the room. Pam's back. I'm back, man. Pamela. Happy to be back. Yep, <laughs> we're back. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't do so this. So you drove, thing. what, 30 hours? Uh, no, 24, 26, not 40. Or Somewhere 30. around there. Yeah, it was a lot. I only did 12 hours and then slept out at some random dog Her- water holiday inn. Then did the, the next 12 Got yep. my second win as soon as I saw the Texas sun. I love that. Yep. I love that. <laughs> I used to do that when I first moved into, this, into the scuff house. I used to do the North Carolina to, to Chicago drive. Used to run that a lot. I loved what? my drive here. Did you hear? Like just the whole week. Like I went home, came back. Then me and Mike stayed in downtown Chicago for a week and then drove. But it like just. Were you going, going crazy out there? Oh, I was going out with a band. The underground? Yeah, I probably swung through there. <laughs> One last hurrah. Got visit. One last hurrah. <laughs> Is that place still a thing? I think so. I love that place. The underground's got to be. I that feel like good. we all used to drive. I used to drive to Pennsylvania. Oh, yeah. 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 Like, we you all used to, used to be just, a driver. Well, used yeah, because I used everything. to hate flying. So I would just drive. And then looking back on it, I can't believe I did Same. that. Same. That's I how I feel. I can't believe that I was doing that. I have to drive to Arizona in October. And I'm like, it's not that bad. It was like 15, 15 oh, what hours. Are we going there for? Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. <laughs> I'm, st- I'm staying with Alexis for a month. So very nice. Yeah, me and uh, me and Mace are gonna drive well, down. Well, 15 there. to stay for a month isn't too bad. Right, that's what I'm saying. That's not that bad. Mike the Ash. drive back is gonna be like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. like uh, wait, this shit's 15 hours. <laughs> <laughs> Mike actually drove my car down here the first time. Oh yeah, I pulled. was. We, we, yeah, we were together. I forgot about that. Wait, you were in that too. What you were in the? Were you in the car too with him? No, I was driving no. my own car. Yeah, so you guys were just like doing it up on the highway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> the whole I, ride. I stayed. I stayed with Nick for a little bit. He was driving the X6, and I was driving my Jeep. Stayed with him for a little bit, and then like, I, he 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 left, <laughs> and then he got here three hours before I did. What? Holy. Yeah, him and Aaron create just. Buck Hauling thirty <laughs> for six hours. Fuck that. <laughs> That's Nick driving for. Me. Yeah. Dude, we couldn't get gas. At like, I mean, I don't know. In Illinois, I never saw it. But like, when we got to like the fucking country or whatever, we stopped. Ninety three. I press it, put it in. It's like, why aren't these fucking pumps working? These pumps are not working. So I go inside. Like, excuse me, man. Like, I don't know what's going on with the ninety three. Like, it's not working. Yeah. She comes out. You have to flip the lever up, like on the pump. I'm like, God. I've never seen that in school. my life. You're not used to pumping your yeah, own gas. I've from never New seen that. That exactly. old school pump. I'm like, what the fuck? It's like, do you hear the 93 <laughs> kick in? <laughs> I've never heard the 93 nah, who kick in. Roast- <laughs> someone was roasting me. When the 85 me. kicks in, though, yeah, it so comes I- out like... <laughs> <laughs> someone was roasting me because I put 89 in my car. Oh, yeah. You're was not you? supposed to. It don't matter. It seems Shit. like you were eyeing those prices. Shit runs. I don't look at the price. I just, <laughs> I just default to the lowest one. Yeah, you just don't oh, put the green man. one in. That's all I know. Yeah, diesel. Yeah. What happens if you put diesel in your car? I think nothing. That shit just turns to a slug. Like, it it'll just slug like, do you engine total? Does the car get total? Yeah, do you have to done. siphon it? There's a reservation. Like the reservation I'm from, Shawanaga, uh, they accidentally ended up putting diesel in the gas, so they had to put out like a huge notice oh, for like no. anyone who bought gas from this gas station for like a week. Yo, we might have pumped diesel in your car because oh. someone just. 
messed up real bad. I'd be so pissed, dude. Matt, you got that? You got that answer for us? And then Craig's on the case. I know, Matt. A Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what I'm saying? Matt's got a big old diesel car, yeah, diesel does. truck. The diesel. It's like a F550. The diesel. <laughs> the diesel. From all Kansas. Two hundred and seventy-five dollars to fill up. Yes, diesel can if you put diesel in your cars. Oh, it's just major damage. Oh, that's not bad then. That's not bad. Not full failure. Doesn't doesn't <laughs> total it. It won't catch fire. Yeah, just major damage. So what? Uh, how was how was how was uh, first football Sunday for you guys? I know you guys had oh, a big nice. hoorah. Yeah, I, time. I didn't. I wasn't. I did not make it. I'm just so sorry. But I heard the food was very good. Oh, dude, oh, yeah, was, Hilton. Yeah. It was a great time. Hilton cooked fajitas, and they were crazy. They were amazing. I mean, like full spread. Denisa and Andrew brought like a full charcuterie board. We had chips. I mean, a mm. bunch of salsas, uh, plenty of drinks. Oh yeah. <laughs> and this is just for. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> was this just for first the first football Sunday, or y'all doing this for fantasy and shit? I mean, I'm down to run it as as many Sundays as I'm in down. I mean, because I mean, the next like the next five weeks get like really crazy for for me, and I'm sure for for you guys too. We have like the COD beta coming out um, this weekend. We fly to LA, me, Zinni, and Hector. I don't know if we can say for what yet, but we're flying there for three days on Sunday. Oh yeah. Um, the following week we have off season. Off season. The following week after that we have. Have they announced the COD event thing? Yes. They have announced it. We have the COD event thing. And yeah. then the week after that, or it's like a two week break after that. And then the beta comes, the first the week of the beta out. comes yeah. out. And then the next weekend after that, we have Halo Worlds. And then the weekend after that, I have my fiance's sister's wedding in New York. Ooh. So it's like the next like six weeks, I'm just fucking everywhere, which I don't like. It's hard to commission. I'm a homebody. It's going to be hard to commission your team from uh, all over the planet. What do you, what do you mean? Your fantasy oh, team. Oh, my fantasy team? <laughs> nah. Are y'all doing fantasy or no? I'm in, I mean, I fell asleep during the draft. It just auto, <laughs> it auto drafted. Dude, I, I so I won, I won I our first how. game in, in our league, like the Optic League. And I'm in another league with like J-Cap, uh, Octane, Mud Dog, Zinni, yeah. Sa like Sam, Hilton, like just a bunch of people. And I got fucking slammed in that league because he had Tyreek. Oh, yeah. He went for what? Like 300? 39 points. 39 fantasy points. We had two touchdowns, 215 receiving yards. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and all Sam so said do, was Tyreek is God. Like, so do you, get sh do you get shafted if you draft defensive players? Like, do well, we don't, and you, in both of our leagues, we don't have defense. So usually you just pick oh. like a full def defense, like a team's defense. Oh, oh okay, And a kicker, okay. but we don't, we don't do kickers or defense because, like, what the fuck are we doing? That's fucked up. You see how the Jets won yesterday? I went Dude, Aaron pick, pick it to the crib. Oh man! Out oh, for yeah. the year. Fuck. Out for the yeah, year. Just got announced. As yeah. we're recording this, it just got announced like His five Achilles minutes ago. Three is, plays out for the year. His Achilles is done. Dude, but I just blamed the line at that point. Like, what the fuck are you out? Now it's the turf. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, dude, get involved. <laughs> it's be like, the turf, this is Aaron right? Rodgers, bro. Apparently, MetLife is like the worst field to play yeah, on I do as see a player. People say that. I see it's people say that a lot. Like new turf, not broken in at all. Like no give. Tragic, dude. Zach Wilson. I mean, the motherfucker was going crazy, though. Yeah, yeah. He, uh, I, I he didn't. Is, I didn't he literally watch... bangs moms. What? What you mean? That's what I heard. <laughs> Matt Craig loved it. Matt Craig that. loved that. Apparently, he is into he is mothers. A mom slayer. <laughs> did hear that? Moms, he loved too. Didn't he? Like, I saw some story about something happened with his girlfriend before. What? I forgot what. The story I don't remember. Was. I don't follow. It was like, something. The beef. All I know is he likes moms. I saw the, the and they punt won. return. The punt return, right? Oh yeah, he like that slept with crazy. his mom's, uh, something like mom, that. <laughs> like her one of her friends, and I guess the girlfriend found out about it. Some oh. shit like that. <laughs> so, but like, I mean, how could you blame him? He's That's not fucking lead. Dude. That's he can just do what he wants. Oh, it, that can't happen. But they got the win. They I did mean, get the win. They beat the Bills too. <laughs> it's not like they beat like some shitters. They beat the Bills. What do you think? Remember we we did the we did like the social video where you pick the the you do the pickums. Like I don't know shit. I, I, I don't know shit about any of the teams. Yeah. So I was just like I was just following off of Seth, and then I the first thing I said was the Lions are going to beat the Chiefs, like as a joke, and then they ended up doing it. Yeah, yeah that not, was the crazy Lions beat the Chiefs. The Lions were good last year. They just had a lot of injuries, a fuck ton of injuries. Yeah. What 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 year was it? I saw I saw Ninja tweet that like the Lions lost like ninety percent of their games, but it was only by like a touchdown. 
Like that's tough. Every every game was by like less than seven points. No ice. Something like that. So maybe it's just like the maybe the Lions are finally imagine being from Detroit. Detroit. Jordan Proofy Cannon. <laughs> He's from Detroit? Yeah. What's Proofy up to? I just I talk to him every day. He just be chilling, streaming. <laughs> Watching oh, yeah. these lines go. What's your What's your Discord call? Y'all sit in Lakers. Lakers. <laughs> <laughs> that call. No, nothing good's coming from hey, that. Yeah, call. Everybody's a flaker. <laughs> like, yo, you want to come play? Yeah, I'll be there in an hour. <laughs> Five hours later, they show up. <laughs> Fucking flake. That's the worst shit. Dude, that. I wonder. I wonder if. What did Killa do last year? Because he was for the first round of off season he was the by far the best player in the whole tournament oh yeah <laughs> like he's doing exactly what he's doing now nothing that's why i'm excited to have him on he's just doing nothing yeah. i talked to him yes two days ago or something like that and he was just drunk in the court <laughs> <laughs> so we're all playing like different games 240 hertz and shit yeah. and, then, and then we we go back we go to back 60 frames no no fov slider and it's like Dude, it's like a whole new. Matt Craig yeah. tried to have me do two live comms on BO2 and what was the other one? It was BO2 and BO4. BO4. And dude, it's insane. Like, I, <laughs> I actually was ass. Yeah, you were raging a little bit. Yeah. But uh, those videos popped the fuck off. Because I expected so. to come back and like be able to shoot straight, and it's just. No, just dude, wind. It's, dude, it's horrible. It's wind. so hard. It's hard to do live comms. I was thinking about doing a couple of live comms. I brought my 360 here too, but. Dude, it's fucking hard. Dude, when you Dog. like when you go back and watch your old clips on like 360, I'm it's, mind blown. Yeah, yeah, I'm it's impressed. Like, yeah, it's I'm like mind blown, blowing dude. how yeah. mu how straight we were shooting. Yeah, and like I wasn't even shooting that straight. Like you guys are shot straight as fuck. You gotta give yourself some credit. <laughs> I mean, hey, it's a one, nice one before against IXI, you were shooting semi straight. No big deal. On Karachi, Merck, Merck got one one eighty turned on. Was that Damn. the was that the Karachi one? Yeah, name drop. I know which one. But uh -huh. he, Merck was also playing on uh, Xbox One. No one cares. You smoke. And I was on the 360. <laughs> but we don't him. talk about that. No, no. We Sorry, do Joe. not talk about that. Xbox One was cool. Yeah, but the backwards like compatible, that. it's like got a delay on it. Mm. And if you're playing on 360, you don't have a delay. Oh, yeah. So, like, I was 1v1 against Merck, and then he's he trying, just, to, he's yeah. trying <laughs> to shoot me. And I'm just like. Just <laughs> sees you half a second later. <laughs> yeah, that's. It's not, it's not fun. But, but whenever we, like, go to the off season and you actually, like, play for a couple hours and kind of readjust yeah. to it that's when it's like okay that's when it's, it gets they, fun it just gets if, so fun see like, if there was like some setups in the back and people were playing it, you would see like who is obviously the better team yeah, to yeah, start yeah. winning but like as far as like everyone only gets to play when they get on it you're just throwing them up there yeah. whatever happens, happens, <laughs> yeah. whatever happens it's happens. Fun, it has to be though because if everyone keeps playing and playing right. that's what i'm saying that's like a crim's gonna start getting back at the hang oh i remember how you do this and <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. throw an EMP <laughs> grenade hey. over here, over this wall. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah, that's. Wait, what's the format this year? It's just four teams. Thing. Just four teams. Double yeah. uh, LM. Yeah. Best of best of seven. Best of nine finals. I think. Um, Damn. Something like that. I think that's what we we did last year. It's always. Wait, is it one day? Uh, two days. Oh, Saturday. So one match and then. Yeah. So you, I think, play up to winners finals on. I think I think losers finals grand finals on Sunday. I think that's what it is. So um, makes yeah. sense. Okay, yeah, it's exciting. It's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be fun to see Killa back up there from last year. Nate shots first land in ten years. It's gonna be fun to see uh, Pred and Shotzi because Shotzi got slammed last year. People don't really? remember that. Yeah, Shotzi got like slammed. But who slammed him? The year? Who slammed him? Uh, then listen, I got the young. Oh, you I got the, I think so. <laughs> Dude, there's no way. It's me and Damon got the young bucks. Like, we'll be chilling. Oh, you guys will be fine. Yeah, we're you chilling. You guys will be fine. Well, this, last um, year, Shotzi was like a last minute pickup because Damon, Damon actually like is going to go weirdly hard at that thing. Like, I'm going to be going hard too, but he's going to be like glasses fogging up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a different level of going uh, yeah. hard. It's going to be, it's going to be fun. <laughs> yeah, that's just going to be fun. Uh, we got side events for for the off season as well. If you guys don't know, the off season is a, a event that's coming up in two weeks at Arlington uh, Esports Stadium, Arlington. Come check it out. Watch all these games live. It's, it should be a lot of fun. It's for charity as well. Um, we got some side events. Pam's gonna be playing in the Birio Kart tournament. That's gonna be fun. It's a it's a it's a tournament where you play Mario Kart 64 and you have to finish a beer before you finish the race, but you can't. 
have your hand on the controller and the beer at the same time. So it's either you're doing one or the other. One or the other. Wait, that's so crazy. are you going to rip it off the off so the are you start rip it and off then the go? Rip, or are you going to wait the for game plan, right? That, that wait for a jump. Just shotgun it yeah. off the rip and then you just go. Or, or yeah, or like boost it over jump. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> catch it. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it up in the yeah, air. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just going to be fun. No, I think, that sounds awesome. I think in that we got like uh, uh, Lucky's going to be in that. George's going to be in that. Maniac. Um, We've got uh, Noisy Butters is going to be playing in that too. So of course, Nick is in there. It's going to be fun. That one's going to be fun. Uh, you got you're playing a show match and Eagles versus Eagles on Eagles in, in NFL Blitz show match against Mango. Is that the one where you like get hurt? Like you can like punch people in the balls and stuff. Yeah, that's like like you can jump off walls and shit. No, that's NFL Street, right? Yeah, the NFL Blitz is like when I see it, I'll know it like instantly. Do you remember like Slugfest where you could like punch people off the bag? Do you remember like Barry no. Bonds would be like, and then he would hit a monster. You don't remember those games? I remember like some of them, like NFL oh, Street, man. Basketball Street, like those type. Like See, I remember the, those. The street, there's the street versions, and then there's the blitz, like red card. Yeah, I played NFL, the NFL. Hit, N- NHL hits. I played the NFL run off the wall and all yeah, that crazy that's, shit. Yeah, that's NFL Street. My favorite ever. Which is like, what I was going to do. I was going to do NFL Street, you and Mango, and then I told Mango, I was like, yo, I'm doing this like side event, Eagles versus Eagles. And he said... NFL Street is my favorite game of all time. So, and I was like, all right, then no. Like, I'm not putting Seth up. I'm not putting Seth up against someone's favorite yeah, game. So of I all just time. went up there and got slammed. Yeah. So I was like, all right, we're doing NFL Blitz. <laughs> but NFL Street was the idea at first. Remember that game you used to load up in like computer class? I forgot the name of it with uh, Pablo. Oh, yeah. Backyard baseball. Backyard baseball. Backyard baseball, dude. That shit was fucking fire. Yeah, that went crazy too. That went crazy. Wait, can you pull up a clip of like uh, MLB Slugfest just to see? Because I feel like Slugfest would be the one that people played. I don't know if there was a basketball one. There had to have been a. There had to have been a basketball one, but off season gonna be dope, man. Yeah, that, it was a lot of fun last year. This shit's gonna be a lot of fun. Sure, it's gonna be a lot of fun this year. Nate oh, yeah, the, the the merch. We're supposed to talk about the merch. The off season oh. merch is is about to be live. It might be live oh. right now. Yeah, it's a uh, like 2000s pop punk vibe. All right, you remember this? Dude, look at these old school games. Look at this menu, man. Dude, Just oh straight my to the God. point. I remember like that like that theme of the menu when it's like everything's on fire and shit. Yeah. Is that Scorpion? That might be that? Scorpion. I think that's fucking Scorpion. Like I think that's, that's Mortal Kombat, Kombat Scorpion. Scorpion. I think that's yeah. Mortal Kombat what Scorpion. The fuck. Yeah, but like you can get, Damn. you can like get on <laughs> if you get on if you get on base, you can like punch people. What the f- <laughs> you don't remember any of this? What the oh fuck? shit! Well, we might have to set you up. This run game a, looks you crazy. might have to run a few plays before you get up there. You know. Absolutely, that looks dope. <laughs> um. Ditch, ditching lightning. What does that mean? What's up? The iPhone 15. iPhone 15. Oh, like the New lightning pro- charging like cable. Wait, this thing? Oh, the fast the charging. Like they're getting rid of that. Oh, oh really? are they really? It's so smart, but it's just so unnecessary. Really? I Unless think it so, charges. What's the need for that? that? Wasn't it like a legal thing? No. Oh, okay. It used to be a legal thing, but now they're just doing it. That's so, the second time they've changed the yeah cable. I remember they fucked you on the when you plug it into the box. It's different, right? Yeah, yeah. Do you ever see those like old school, like the wide ones, the ones from pre Lightning? Yeah. Like, like every once in a while, you go to a hotel and they haven't updated their fucking iHomes. Oh and yeah. And it's the ones that you like used <laughs> to like put it in shit. I kind of miss those. Those Same. were the, those were a vibe. Somebody. Just, doop. I saw somebody. And music plays. Yeah. <laughs> the first time I saw someone with a lightning cable, I was like, man, try hard. Like little, <laughs> little tiny lightning cable. Dude, the, how are your mentions after the Optic Apex shit? Um, Yo, I'm going to be getting called like noob coach and shit. Like what's going on? They haven't been like, I mean, there's definitely been like weird like messages, but they haven't been that, like that bad. Minor. You also, I feel like you went harder. Like you literally translated to chinese yeah. i just posted a picture of me smoking a cigar that's true so it's that's like, true yeah i feel like you definitely i saw i saw somebody somebody replied 
like a, an optic fan, like trolled and replied with what I, I just copy and pasted what he did. I just yoinked his whole tweet and it said something like, let's fucking go. That's I hit translate. It said, let's fucking go in, uh, I guess Mandarin or Chinese or whatever. So I just copy and pasted that. Do you know what we're talking about? Yeah, I, see, I saw your tweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So the if you guys don't know the Optic Apex team, um, they kind of griefed uh, a, a team called Dr- uh, Dreamfire. Dreamfire. Yeah. Um, in uh, ALGS, and uh, it's a it's a Chinese team, and apparently their fan base is just passionate as fuck, like insane. To the point where Joey tweeted off the Optic account, like, this is our POI or something. And in, what, an hour, it got 5,000 replies. Oh, my God. Like, literally, like, BTS, Selena Gomez, like, that type of fan base status. And so, naturally, we all jumped in and started talking shit yeah. as well. Got to try our, to get some interactions. Have to. Try to get our Elon money up. Three and, impressions. And, and um, yeah, they went crazy on those, too. Yeah. They did. <laughs> oh, they did. What that, day did this happen? I was driving, dude. I feel like I was uh, been Sunday. in Sunday. Sunday? Yeah, okay, it was the yeah. Apex Apex like their championship final was Sunday. And we us and Dreamfire were the first show in Apex. You have to get the fifty points and then after you get the fifty points, you have to win a game to like win the event. Um and us and Dreamfire were the first two to fifty points. Wow. Yeah. And we like grief them. What does that mean, grief? Like So like we like fucked up their game on purpose, basically. Oh, okay. That's great. That's griefing. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, and it happens a lot in Apex, like, because whenever you're on match point, all the teams are like, if they see you there, because the, all you can see in the top right is the teams that got eliminated. So if they know that you're still in the game, they're trying to like kill you so the event doesn't end so they can still win. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, Damn, look at all those replies, bro. Yeah. So, 86. yeah. Oh, yeah. My, I was just about, to, that's what I was going to pull up. <laughs> My reply got, Almost 3,000 replies. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, translate it? Translate it? <laughs> Let's fucking go. <laughs> Optic wins everything. Optic wins everything. Got six bookmarks, too. That's hilarious. Dude, I got to say, to for the Apex boys, dude, they, they played so fucking good. Oh, I mean, yeah, so obviously good. they don't get the win, but I think they were the most consistent team uh, definitely on Sunday and maybe throughout the whole weekend. Dude, I, think, they, I think we might have been the most consistent team at the event. So they played so well. I mean, he, there's there's three opportunities to win it there, and it's like, if you know, if I think if Skittle if, if Skittle Cakes doesn't die first in that one game, and then the other our other two guys had blue shields, like, and then there was a there was another like it's just like it's so situational in in Apex that. You know, all, all the trolls are gonna say, "Oh, you're the you had six opportunities to win it, and you can't win it." It's like, dude, it's there's final, so many things. There's like nine teams in the last circle. Like, there's attachments, there's shield levels, there's who has an alt, who, right? Who yeah, has yeah. grenades? Like, there's so many different things. But then also on the other side of things, TSM. I mean, that was that was cr- what they did was crazy. Very typical. They went back to back. They won three games in a row to win the tournament. It was insane. Wow. Yeah, th- we 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 had what. I think we had like 40 points and they had zero or something like that. Like at they, they, they came back. Yeah. TSM had zero points. First two games. They won three in a row. And then they won three in a, three fucking, in a row. And it was crazy. And then wins that Jesus. wins the whole thing. Damn. But I think, I think ALGS, the way they have it f- formatted is so sick. I think, I think what we've all said about BRs is it's, it's like almost impossible to make it competitive because BRs are so weird. And, it's hard and you have to like lean into entertainment, but how they've done it is a great balance. I think Apex is the best BR competitive game right now. Bar none. By a mile. I think it's the best competitive BR of all time. Like I don't I don't think I don't think there's anything even remotely close. Yeah, I, I, I might agree with that. It's just like I don't know. I mean, I think there's been entertaining BRs yeah. that have been like show matchy and in, in, in a fun setting. Like you think of H1, some, some really cool, pub, yeah, some really cool H1 moments, some really cool uh, Fortnite moments, like 40, the, yeah, uh, but not to this level, mm. in my opinion. I can't even really. There's a glare, so you guys might have to read some of these. I can't tell. Yeah, it was the first. Uh, it was the first Apex tournament that we did like an official from start to finish watch party. So we were waking up at like four a.m. one day, six a.m. another day because it was in London. So we were up like oh, wow. we were up at outlandish hours, and it was so. I can't. I can't wait for their season to start again. I, I just hope 
it doesn't like conflict with the CDL because obviously CDL takes precedent. Yeah, yeah. CDL's on, then we're not watching Apex. But uh, it's a great time, great time to watch. I mean, shit. If the CDL and Apex are on at the same time, T- Team Summertime might have to take over the ALGS streams. It might have to happen. Days terminate CEO Lee Trink. I saw that. Didn't know what to think, man. I was, <laughs> didn't know. I really did not yeah, know what, what to your think. Thoughts, <laughs> oh man! I mean, both couldn't wait to bring that. Shocking, <laughs> <laughs> to say the least. To be honest, I don't even I don't, know. Yeah, I don't, I didn't even know what. Like, what was the backstory on? I don't, I don't really know Are the backstory. I was driving too. Like, all so much, so much shit happened. Like when I was driving. While you were like, driving. Yeah, I was like, oh, no, 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 just. <laughs> one way just 300 kilometers each like um yeah that's um i don't know i was i'm kind of just going off like what rain was saying like he was you know how rain has been going yeah he what was he saying? anytime stuff I like this rain. happens he just, <laughs> goes, awesome. he just goes rogue he just does his own thing <laughs> i love it um i don't really i honestly i didn't really like talk to lee too much he was like never like in the in the phase headquarters like really that much at all um that's all you have to say. That's all. Yeah, yeah man. Like, I have some other say. things I can want to say, but like, you know, I'm going to keep really it. really all you got I'm gonna to sit say. On, I'm going to sit on the fence on that one, man. Yeah. Sorry. Um, But in, so I don't, I don't really know anything. I didn't even know. It's a who big deal. Trink. It's a big deal though. Like, I'm, I'm obviously, I don't know who's taking his place. Like who's like, who's next in line here. Like they're next in line. Game is of like, Thrones. Like they're next in line is like the CFO, COO and CEO now. Who the hell's that? I don't know. <laughs> Dude, like, uh, I don't even know. when I was on the team, I didn't know, like, I don't even know, like, who these... Fucking adapt? These... <laughs> <laughs> Could be. Well, Could be, yeah. I, I, so I don't really know much about this situation, but obviously uh, anyone who's been following FaZe over the past year and a half knows that, knew that something was coming. Oh, it's there's, something new every, every fucking there's week, There's basically man. two different phases. Yep. There's, like, phase that we know, and then there's this phase that like there's like three phases there's the phase that like you guys know there's like the corporate phase and then there's like the og like kind of like background phase and then there's the uh, no there's like four phases E-sports. then there's the content creator phase all honestly man like a lot of the content creators are kind of just like like yo what's happening over there <laughs> like, yeah like that's all we kind of we just kind of talk about it talk about it like amongst each other like once in a while and just kind of wondering what the hell's going on. Because honestly, like, to my knowledge, I had to be in L.A. to even, like, really feel like I was a part of the culture there. Yeah. So, I mean, to that's, just know. To be fair, that's something we struggle with here. Mm. It's very difficult to, to ingrain people that are remote. It's something that, I mean, that we, when it comes to our esports teams and, and our content creators, I mean, it's, it's something we struggle with with our Apex team, with the Botas sisters. Uh, it's, you know, we struggled with it with the rocket league team as well. Um, but it's, I think that, I think that's where like the future is probably headed is like, you, everybody's going to be re- like working out of the same spot. I think, I think that's how they do it, uh, in like league of legends and stuff. Like they're, they all play out of the same place. And so you get to, you get to see them all at the same time. And, uh, and I think that's why they are a little bit more successful in, in that way. Cause you don't really hear. I mean, all the, uh, what I'm what I'm eventually getting to is what happened with EG, with the with their Valorant team. Did y'all hear about this? No. Mm-mm. So EG wins Valorant Worlds, biggest tournament of the year, their big world championship, and they've basically released their whole team. That's crazy. Yeah. Valorant. Uh, so biggest, best team in the world wins the biggest, biggest tournament in the world in a. This is a, a franchise team as well, right, Matt? Yeah. This, so this, this is one of the teams that, you know, made franchising when we didn't make franchising. Mm-hmm. They win Worlds, and now they can't afford their team. So they're letting them, That's you know, crazy. either they have to ex- accept a significant pay cut or they've got to find a new team. Gotcha. So Yeah, I feel like I've been seeing, like, everywhere on Twitter recently. Not everywhere, but, like, just like a few times a day about like esports salaries and how they're inflated and how teams can't keep up with it or whatever. And I just, I don't even know what's going on anymore, dude. 
Everything everything feels like it's like semi falling apart. It does slowly feel, but surely. Yeah. It does feel that like, way. It does feel that way. Across all games, though. across all games, all games, all games, all games, all games. All games have this problem. Different orgs, like. like it just feels like everything's like just near? weird. What are we doing next? I don't think the end is near. I think the I think the We're restart tired. is near. The restart. I think the restart is near, which I think is needed, but... What does a restart that, look well, like? Well, so the restart is mainly, at least people are saying, is mainly based around player salaries because people are overpaying paying their players, and then on the back end of things, it's making it harder to do other things in the business because they're overpaying their players. Hmm. And it's like, I don't know, but I feel like salaries, like what people are saying, people are saying that like Valorant teams are making 20 to 25K a month, which I feel like isn't like crazy for a Valorant team. What the amount mean? of viewership they bring in, like people are saying, they're getting overpaid, getting paid twenty five k a month. The player, like the one player, one player. Yeah, but you times that by six, by four, five. including the coach and the analyst. So, so to operate a Valorant team at that would be one twenty five plus coach plus analyst, which they're not getting paid as much. Right, so you're probably looking mm. at like one fifty in salaries a month. Yeah, but I feel like you have to that's know up. that that's what's gonna <laughs> happen. Like that's what the market is. But it's not what the market is. I don't think. But it is. They just don't. They're People not monetizing are something. It shouldn't something be, on the but it end. is. Uh, that's all. Like, I mean, maybe they're it, just it, fucking up, not monetizing something on their end. Lack of Because they're bringing in the viewership. The they're playing the their part. The viewership that comes into Val- Valorant, they could for it's sure insane. get paid twenty five. It's more than month. COD. But way more than COD. The yeah, team but COD's is dying not, too. Well, the team is not in that sense. monetizing something on the back end. Mm. They're not getting. So, they're just giving the money Players out. And not wise. getting. They're not doing not stuff like fucking, this. Not yeah. They're not doing stuff they're, like this. Exactly. It's, def- it's definitely exactly. a combination of both for sure. For Cause sure. Because you've got to have a way. You've got to have a way to monetize the viewership that does come in, but it can't be just off the raw stream numbers of the tournament. Yeah. Like you can't like it's that, not even their you, numbers exactly. You, you have to like go, it's like, the yeah. game's numbers. Create a culture, create a fan base. Hundred percent. But I feel like I feel like right now as yeah, an that's esports the part. as an esports player, like I feel like right now is horrifying. Like there's no job security. They just won fucking champs in in Valorant. Yeah. Probably top three esports right arguably now. Arguably maybe the biggest. Maybe top one. Yeah. yeah maybe the biggest esport in the world. Yeah, that's and actually crazy to think about. They win worlds. That's kind of scary. Yeah. It's, no, it's ter- it's terrifying. Yeah. It's fucking terrifying. It's something that, like, I don't know. I, I, I feel like I, I've been screaming it for, like, years now, but, like, what the fuck? Is, what are we doing? That's actually fucking... Like, as, as soon well, as people started, like, getting... Yeah, right? cr- just get that good. Just you just hundreds of thousands and millions of people watching it, and now the team just... Crumples. <laughs> Stupid crumples. amount of hours. You do your job, you know and then you're I'm just saying? like... What the fuck? Yeah. Your and org it, doesn't. And now probably though, if they don't accept this pay cut, they'll probably all go their separate ways. Yep. One person's going to go, because he's the best player on their team, so he's going to get his spot. And he's going to get paid yeah, oh, yeah. somewhere, <laughs> but all of them are going to get take get pay cuts. Like yeah. They'll be tweeting each other on Twitter, still love you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's that and evolving one person, door. Dude, that's, I mean, it's kind of like what happened in uh, yes. in World War II. Like, think about what happened in World War II. Like, we try to get this team we can't get this team because of another player, like because Zuma, Zuma. Zuma gets this like crazy pay bump. You motherfucker! And then like, so now we can't get that team, even though we were going to. And now everyone knows how much one player makes, which is significantly more than what everyone else makes. So now everyone's like, "Wait, how?" And then everyone else is like, "I don't know." <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. imagine being TK at the time because oh, this yeah. was before franchising. So, like, Zuma gets this crazy bump from FaZe, and the TK team at the time was the best team in the game, but they're also not the biggest brand. They're yeah, just yeah, in yeah. COD. They're just a nasty team. Yeah, they're just a nasty team, a, a really homegrown team from Call of Duty. And so, like, if you're fucking Kenny at the time, you're like, I'm one of the best players in the game. Like, how, how is he getting paid nine times more than me? Yo. Yeah, salaries. Salaries. Caused low- off. Give me some bread. <laughs> now Kaz is like, what? Now what do I have to do? No, you know what I mean? Guess like, I don't pay you. You go somewhere else. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and then that it's bubble starts door. expanding. <laughs> That's how it starts, dude. It is fucking, I just can't believe it's got, I mean, I can't believe it popped this early though. Cause that was what, I mean, I guess. That, that wasn't even that long after them winning. Like I was fast. Like how they just. Oh, 
The EG. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they already the knew they were doing. It. They probably they probably went into it knowing they were doing it, and then yeah, they ended up winning. And it's like now they kind of look like it's the like bad a, guys, like but they probably dance. they probably oh. knew that going into this that they were gonna let their team go. I mean, obviously, you don't let a team go when they win if you didn't have thoughts of getting rid of them before the tournament. It's yeah, like, but the the backlash is like two different two different ways, like two two different big opinions. It's just like. How the fuck could EG do this to the championship level squad? Or and then sure, it's like, I'm sure they weighed out all their options. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure they went through all their employees and was like, who can we live without? No, nah, no, no, seriously. Like, I know. <laughs> they were going through the pages and the Jukins oh, and man. the <laughs> Emac Craigs. <laughs> Damn. What? Crazy. No, man. not Matt Craig. No, I, I well, Matt's right. we would yeah. never do that good, to Paige Juke and Matt Craig. Shout out, Matt Craig. If Matt Craig wasn't here, <laughs> this place would burn to the ground. I would not be doing too well right now. Shout out Matt Craig. Yeah, Matt, can I have your can I have your Yu Gi Oh cards? Just like if you leave or something. I was I was FaceTiming Matt Craig at, <laughs> or texting him at 10, 8, 10 p.m. last night, asking him where shit was here, and he knew every. I said, can, "Where's the hey, surge protector?" He said, "Here, here, here, here." And yeah, I was like, "Okay, cool." That, that motherfucker's yeah. dialed. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, on a, on a scale of one to ten, since you don't have a mic, how excited are you? Oh, you do have a mic. I do have a mic. Yeah. Oh shit! Just, on a scale of one to ten, how excited are you to move everything out of the hex quarters in the next month? It's a ten. It's gotta be a ten. I'm so excited. I can't wait. <laughs> Think about it every day. <laughs> that time. was that was sarcasm in there. No, 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 no. Damn, no. the hex quarters are right. Yeah. That's kind of sad. It is kind of sad. Damn. But to I be honest, that place when you walk in nowadays, What's it, it like? doesn't feel the same. It's, it's like it's a it's a barren wasteland. It's vibeless of well, well, not vibeless. There's, if you walked in there and you and Formal aren't in there, okay. it is vibeless. Okay, okay, there we go. Like like no if you guys are in there, nice that makes me better. That makes yeah. me feel better. Yeah. But the, the the just the layout of it right now, like, I mean, it's just because everything is. But we've also experienced like this now, this like office space. And yeah, true. It's just more like professional, I guess. But the hex quarters was like more homey. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. 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 Boo! Are your subscriptions draining your wallet? The average person has around 12 paid subscriptions and they might not even remember subscribing to half of those. If you have no idea just how much you're spending each month, you need Rocket Money. This is a great app that tracks all of your expenses so you know exactly where your money is going. This completely blew my mind when I found out about it, but did you know that over 80% of people have subscriptions that they've forgotten about? 80%? <sighs> Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills all in one place. If you're trying to make ends meet, if you're going month to month, you might be able to pull a little life hack and, uh, and, and, and fix your past mistakes using Rocket Money. With Rocket Money, you can easily cancel the ones that you don't want with just the press of a button. No more long hold times or annoying emails with customer service. Rocket Money does all the work for you. With over 3 million users and counting, Rocket Money customers have saved an average of $720 a year. Stop wasting money on things that you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscription and manage the money the easy way. Your money. By going to rocketmoney.com slash optic. That's rocketmoney.com slash O-P-T-I-C. Rocketmoney.com slash optic. This episode of The Other Podcast is also brought to you by BetterHelp. As I'm sure many of you guys on the internet have dealt with, uh, there are times when you're laying in bed at wake at night and your thoughts are just keeping you awake and you can't seem to get to sleep because so much is going on in the world and so much information is processing our tiny little human brains that we cannot compute what life is really about. And sometimes you just need someone to talk to. So that's why BetterHelp is there to help. Do you ever find that just as you're about to fall asleep, your brain suddenly will not stop talking? Your thoughts start racing right before bed or at uh, inopportune moments? Well, it turns out one great way to make those racing thoughts go away is to talk them through. Therapy does give you a place to do that and to get out of your, me your negative thought cycles and find yourself some mental and emotional peace. 
um, BetterHelp has helped tons of people, a lot of people that I know as well, um, and they, they've, they've helped a ton of people on, on the internet as well uh, with talking through things, with, with therapy, with uh, accessible therapy, and uh, therapy that is right for you. So if you like talking to people, there's voice chat. If you like t- t- typing and texting with people, there's text chat, and there's also video call as well. So it, it really is a, a great service. If you're thinking about starting uh, therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. You just fill out uh, a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist, and you can switch therapists at any time. Get a break from your thoughts with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Optic today to get 10% off of your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Optic. It's also time to talk about the Wallace Warriors. If you guys don't know, Optic has partnered up with the USAA to uh, have a little uh, 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 program within Optic Nation called the Wallace Warriors. Uh, If you're a part of the Green Wall and uh, you have served uh, and you're a military member or a veteran, the Wallace Warrior program is for you. It's really awesome. Uh, Definitely go check it out. You visit the website and sign up at optic.link slash WW. Verify your government ID status with uh, ID me and wait for a confirmation email for your free Optic Nation Gold membership. That's right. Wallace Warriors, free Optic Nation Gold. And also we we do some stuff for, for the Wallace Warriors throughout the year. Uh, one of the things being a free $5,000 Call of Duty tournament happening on September 16th. Completely free event uh, with a $5,000 prize pool made just for the Wallace Warriors. It's a 4v4 online S&D tournament and only one person per team really needs to be a Wallace Warrior. So if you, uh, if you're, if you're part of the program, grab three of your friends and, uh, hop on, play some call of duty, uh, with some pals. Uh, it should be, it should be a lot of fun. So like I said, $5,000 call of duty tournament for Wallace Warriors, grab three of your friends and gear up at optic.link slash WW classic. Oh, like Hex owned it. So, you know, like, yeah, got a little extra special privilege. It's funny because yeah. it's the hex quarters, but I haven't seen hex in that bitch and <laughs> fucking. That's insane. Four months. He's at the garage mahal. Yeah, he is ripping I that just, bong ski. Yeah, <laughs> just, just places everywhere. I wonder what fucking his direct or not a fucking auto rent payment shit. Yeah, just, his, <laughs> his books. God damn. He he hits that auto pay and it's just like. <laughs> Fuck. (laughs) That's how shit. And the first of the month comes now. I'm like, dude. And it's like, if something goes wrong anywhere that time, like I had to get my brakes 1200, 2300. And just kept like, what the fuck? I won't drive this bitch for two months. (sighs) Yeah. The fur, when the first comes, especially this area too. And now I got a, I'm getting a Jeep today. I'm back on the I'm back on the Jeep wave. You're really? buying a Jeep? Yep. Yeah. Right after this? Yeah, right after this I go pick it up. You're so stoked oh, right I'm, now. I'm, I'm hyped. hyped. I'm hyped. Like did you go with the original like like a it's a so junk? it's a four door now. So so remember we had to crawl in the back of the yeah. the red red Jeep? Yeah, yep. I got I I bumped but it did, up. Got Mesa back. Did you go seat. like newer style or the old style? Uh it's like a 2019 something like that oh, so, so newer style. yeah it's, it's pretty it's, it's it red? Nice. i thought you like the no, like no, the, it's not red i thought you were into like the old school kind of vibe are you gonna Jeeps. paint it red no don't do that the red red is dude the red was that's my... gamma hitch Damn. that's gamma hitch it's a part of you bro gamma hitch gamma hitch Look at what that. the fuck second row far left yep that's wow. you right there. That man. is that was me. I whip that all the time in Caldera. No, that's you right now. You just don't want to accept it. I, I I'm not accepting it. That's literally you. No, I, I it, the red Jeep was like it was it it lived and it is it has since moved on. Did wow. I ever tell you how I got rid of the Jeep? Just auctioned you it. I drove it into a parking lot, poured <laughs> gasoline <laughs> on it, <and> fucking, <laughs> just left the keys in it. <laughs> uh, so whenever we got the Nissan deal, um, when we were with Infinite. Um, I was just driving that little tiny blue car. I can't remember the name. It was like not, it was whatever's under the leaf. It's a four cylinder, little tiny car. And I was just driving that cause my Jeep had like basically died at the time. And so I parked the Jeep outside of that old optic house and Will came home one day and said, and, and was like, yo, there's this lady outside that's looking at your Jeep. And I was like, what? He said, yeah, I, I stopped her and she was there with a police officer. Like, and he was looking in the Jeep. 
And uh, so I stopped to buy and said, hey, like, what's up? This is my roommate's Jeep. And she said, well, it hasn't moved in three months. And so I thought that somebody was selling drugs out of it. <laughs> was like, <laughs> what the fuck? So literally, this is in this is at, at McAlpin. No, this is in uh, the Blaine Drive. Yeah, the Blaine. Was it the crazy lady from the basketball court? I think it was the crazy lady from the basketball court. But the the old optic the the optic house with like the yellow walls. The third optic house. Yeah, the fake Blaine optic. Drive. We call it the fake optic yeah, house. Fake. The one you walked into that theater room and it was like. <laughs> yes. I, I walked downstairs like. <laughs> 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 Yes, <laughs> that one. Uh, um, looking for snacks. <laughs> <laughs> looking for snacks. So yeah, the lady was like, uh, you know, the, the he's got to be selling drugs out of this car, and I was like, so that day I just looked up like a donation place, put the title in the car, and sent it, and somebody came and just hauled it off for like it was for, and they they donate it to like kids that uh, or like teenagers that are getting their license that can't afford cars. So just Dope. one day I was just like, just get it out. And it's, it was gone. It's still a good, someone's so some out there enjoying it. Really some kids that. out there driving oh, yeah. that. Hopefully just know that was the same car that Nick maniac Kirshner would drive to the gym every day. Gotta be, gotta mean something, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're still whipping. When are you getting a new car? Dude, I just, I just don't like need one. It's to the the amount that I drive is actually appalling. I just don't drive. I Uber here. I Uber here, Lam which was it's set a, up it's a limo. per my contract. It's a limit. Is they a said we're moving downtown. I said I'm getting car service now. <laughs> 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 That's kind of nice. Huh? That's kind of nice. They Meanwhile, were gonna buy me an apartment. Shifting. Damn. So I could just sleep down here. <laughs> I'm not even trolling. But because all y'all live down here, I come, you know. Uh, I know you people, what was that last question? What was the last thing you said? I come. But no, not that. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> oh, my, oh. You said all of y'all live down here. And I was like, well, you, you said all of y'all. You don't live here yet? No, I He's fucking stick shift from Frisco. Oh, my God. Now I feel like an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Matt lives farther away than I do. Yeah, do Matt you? lives farther, far Matt, as hell. Matt, li <laughs> yeah. it took Matt an hour and a half Damn. to get here. <laughs> oh my god! They don't got y'all on car service. Ugh, I'm deep, bro. I'm fucking <laughs> deep. Are you gonna move, or you just you just marinate? I just moved there. <laughs> you just moved there. But yeah. so like whenever, so like I signed like my new contract, whatever, like creator contract, and congrats. Well, thank you, thank you. But this was a really long time ago. But I I didn't right. know that we were moving downtown. And obviously, me and Hector live side by side. Yep. And I was like, all right, I got to get car service. Because, like, I I just I don't want to drive. I don't want to drive that much. Especially, yeah. like, in my car, it eats gas. Like, I don't want to drive that much. Especially coming back, like, some days, like, three, four, it's going to be traffic. Traffic. I'm trying to get back to oh, stream. Dog. Like, it's... Sometimes Raj will set up a unprocessed at three and we get done oh, at four and I got to leave at four done. thirty. Yeah, yeah, and like, that's literally I'm not leaving. Time. I'm staying here till six. Yeah. I'm it's literally, like that. I, it's to Frisco. Oh, the oh it's to Frisco. Is, it's horrible. It's too late. It's too late now. What? You live in Frisco? Yeah, I'm in Frisco. Are you really? Oh, Where? No. Oh, no. Don't Why say did that. you do that? What area? I had to Why move did you down? do that? I just had to move here ASAP. I don't know. I didn't even come ASAP, but. I don't, no. know. I don't think it's that bad. What's your address? Uh, <laughs> but it could have been so much easier if you just would live down here. But you're right. it's okay. I was thinking about it. I was nah, we'll go it. back to Frisco eventually. I hope so. But sometimes I'm in content like four or five times a week, and then I have to stream on top of that. So it's like I need some time to like reset. I can't be driving, streaming content. Like I need some time to reset Get before that. everyone calls me a diva. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean content days. I'm not bitching about content, but content days, I mean, I'm up at 8.30. Mm -hmm. We're here from like 10 to 2 probably, and then I go home and stream for six hours. That's like 10, 11 hour day. That's a big day. That's what I'm saying. So I need some resets in that motherfucker. Put the head back into Uber. Nap a little bit. Yeah, I put my AirPods in, sunglasses, I just close my eyes. What Ubers do you get? Black. Limousine. You have to. Depends on the day. Paige only <laughs> orders them the Hummers, the no, big Hummers. it depends oh. on the day. It depends on the day. Usually I get comfort, but if the comfort's not within like 10 minutes, then I'll get 
a black car because there's always like one within four minutes away. So I'm trying. I'm you know I'm trying to get here. Trying to get. Mm-hmm. Kind of you got to get here on time. Yeah. And you, you, you got people. Are. I'm gonna get ripped into. For that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no like, put it on the table. This is what it is. Put it on the table. <laughs> it is what it is. Sometimes you have to get ripped into. For Sometimes that you one, have to. It took like 20 minutes for me to get here. So like, that's it. Oh, so you're you're probably like, it's not bad. You're probably like way northern Frisco. Oh yeah, yeah. You're so. or southern up there. Frisco. Yeah, yeah. Because we're like, I think we're like close to like the nah, northern. You'll get there quick. Like, you'll get back quick. So. Yeah, we got to drive through Frisco. Yeah. To uh, get through. For, yeah, we're like, you're like on the edge. If you only got here in 20 minutes, yeah, you're good. 20 ish. Yeah. Yeah, 20 like, doable. It took me 45 to get down here. I was yeah, thinking that's about it tough. on the way here. Like, it just reminded me of driving to my office in Perry Sound, like a 20 minute drive there. And I was like, kind of like, this is kind of nostalgic a little bit. Rip some tunes. <laughs> rip, some, rip some tunes. <laughs> rip some tunes. Just, Plus, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. You got it. Did y'all see the uh, Sideman charity match? Uh, I saw clips. We of didn't. It. I saw I, clips. A bunch of people were talking about it on my stream, but we were watching Apex, so it was oh, okay. Yeah, it was kind of tough. Those I are always that. those are always a lot of fun to to look at or to to watch and then uh, and look at the the highlights. Sixty thousand seats got sold out. That's crazy. a big stream. It's yeah. a big stream. <laughs> Sixty thousand seats. How many viewers did they have concurrent? Uh do you? I don't know. I have no idea. Had to have been over like a million, right? I don't know. I know they. I know they raised over two and a half million. It says it's a charity event. So this shit just looks fun, man. It's got to be oh, over dude. a million viewers. It has to be, right? Yeah. It's, I mean, XQC's in it. Fucking speeds in it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast. <laughs> yeah, it's got it. No, it's got I mean, it. Mr. Beast on the thumbnail, like money. Yeah. KSI, I mean, look at that thumbnail. Kai, yeah, Kai dude, like, that's a cool Mr. Beast. Oh, yeah, like, Kai, how do you pick <laughs> who's going to go on the thumbnail? Well, you know you got Mr. Beast and KSI. Yeah. yeah. Speed. Speed, Kai. Kai. I mean, you, those, those make, I mean, that's. This <laughs> went 2.5 million. What? Wow. 2.5 million viewers? That's like cable television numbers. What the fuck? Yo, what does like what? cable television get? Like if you're watching Judge Judy or some bullshit at like noon? Yeah, I don't know. It probably gets around that. You think? Yeah, probably. I mean, that's a lot of fucking people. There 2. is a 6? lot. Six. Two point six. It's a million people. A lot of commas watching. Two. Everyone put pretty much put in dollar too. Great people. No, good people. Good people. Nah, those, what was their uh, What was their charity? <laughs> What were they? Uh, I don't know what. I actually don't know what charity they is. It might be a couple of different ones. Do you do you know Matt? Yeah, but uh, they, it's always a lot. It's always a lot of fun that they do that. I, I know they took a break because of COVID. They always like break a million though, like donations. Oh yeah, they broke a million it. last year, um, and then I guess they doubled it this year, which is crazy. Whenever you whenever you do annual charities, like it's always like. It's always a little scary because you can only go up every year so many times before it's just like, okay, you can't pass that. Like yeah. if they raise 10 million one year, like they're not going to raise 10 million yeah. the next year. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's always a little like scary to try to keep upping the ante. That's something that I kind of run into with, with off season. So you don't, but regardless, anything that you raise like good, is dude. good. Yeah. And what what charities off season? November uh, men's health, right? Yeah, men's men's mental health. Dope. So, yep. Yeah. Uh, that the Simon charity is awesome. What what would we do if we do if we were going to do a uh, something like that? Kickball, like, kickball, or softball? Softball. I was softball. thinking softball. Softball would go hard. That'd be dope. Be I think I think optic versus hundred thieves softball. That would be so crazy. That would be that would so be awesome. fun, right? So fun. What position? I'd be down. What position would you play? Reverse Me? cowgirl. So, I mean, softball. <laughs> Mission. Uh, I don't know what I'd play. <laughs> I was a first baseman. Softball, you kind of just play everywhere, anywhere. Kind of like, like wherever you're feeling, position, like first, like, second. And third. like guy softball, it's, it's like, like I'm rover, going out shortstop. Rover, shortstop, left field, no, right field, center what's field. Someone gonna be like, no, no, I'm no. just gonna just go play center field. Like, no, that's what I'm saying. No one's gonna say no. Nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We got to <laughs> you, know, you say shorts, I'm like, all right, oh, yeah, go ahead, man. <laughs> go have a ball. I think I think we got to pull some shit off like that. That'd be sick. We should totally either could. like optic verse 
I was going to say phase, but they're going through some shit, so maybe not that right now. Might not have a softball team, though. Optic. <laughs> optic Thieves, Optic Moist, maybe? Or, like, that, that those guys? Like, I think, I think that would be, be fun. That would be a good time. That would be a good ballpark. Sell 2,500 seats. Yeah, the one concessions, the, man. The Frisco, just oh, one. yeah, the Can't Frisco, the Frisco, the the Rough Rider Stadium with the pool. You know that how there's like fire, a lazy, right? there's a lazy you know river. There's a, a apartment that right behind it. It's called. It's actually the Omni. It like hangs over the field, so you can go in your balcony. You're like in the back, like you're watching the game. Really, really? it's fire. It's Dude, called the that Omni stadium. Frisco. Wow. Check it out. When I did my walk here, I walked by the stadium at like really? six a.m. Yeah, and I was like. Looking, I was looking in it. It was like, damn, that shit's fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, dude, that would be sick. A softball game at Rough Rider Stadium, Optic versus who? Who do you guys want us to play in softball? That shit would be fun. I'd be down for that. That'd be a great. I think time. that would. I think we always talk about whether we would do basketball or like soccer with Optic, but I think we would be best at baseball. Like, or yeah, I think I think well, basketball. There's too much room for injury. Yeah, like. When was going to break an ankle or some bullshit? Also, it's break just an like arm. flag football. Like, I can't break my arm. Flag football. That would be catastrophic. <laughs> we can't do something where I could break my arm. You did already at the fucking <laughs> one, two, three, five. And what? Remember you broke your shit at one, two, your three, five? Or or was was it, oh, no, it was your shoulder. It yeah, it was my shoulder. <sighs> what a day. He was with me. <laughs> what a day. It was me and you, right? Yeah. Nick I was wasn't on, with us, right? I was on the phone with his mom, like, and I just, like, just became friends with Seth, so I'm like, I'm... I just broke. I broke the best player in the world's arm. <laughs> I gotta look after this guy now. Like, he's doing on a booster board. Just oh. <laughs> is that the remote control one? Yeah, <laughs> dude, we were flying. Those bro. things were fucking fast. I we were flying, no. and it was pitch black. He's standing next to Will, going, "Does it look broken?" And Will's behind him, and he looks at me like. <laughs> <laughs> just... I don't know if it was broken. I think it was just dislocated, right? Something like that. Something was wrong, Something. man. Something I mean, it's still, wrong. it's still like uneven. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, it says one. It was one of my best vlogs, though. It popped. Yeah. <laughs> I vlogged it like a fucking <laughs> asshole. Dude, I but can't believe. Damn. <laughs> I can't believe yeah. Syndicate caught Mike falling off his motorcycle. That's crazy. That's that fucking. <laughs> it's crazy what you can catch <laughs> when you're fucking. You got your camera on you at all times. Um. So I think where we at, Matt? Let's talk about Call of Duty re really quickly. Okay, here. got you. Uh, so Call of Duty 2024 and 2025 release rumored to follow the same format as MW2 Ooh. slash MW3 progression. 2025 will include a BO2 remaster, BO2 Ooh. remastered maps. Rumor. Can we click on that rumor, please? I, I'm, I'm confused what it means by following that progression. I think like in the same maps. I think in the same way that like MW3 is just MW2 maps. He, they're saying the next Treyarch game will just be Black Ops 2 maps. But what engine? But type? with like, yeah, the engine with mattered, like a, man. I don't know. With a modern engine. Oh, so it's like MW3 this year, BO2 the next year, but with like different weapons, different like right. mechanics. But most likely oh. the same. I mean, what the fuck? They're just are they just giving up? <laughs> they're, trying, <laughs> they're, trying, they're trying whatever works. I'm actually curious. I mean, I'm not too. Just, I'm not too opposed. I mean, I, that's the thing. Is like it'll be it'll be cool, but like, are they just giving up? Let's just keep. Let's just throw out those maps and just add new mechanics on our new engine. So next, uh, so I'm playing MW2, but MW or MW2 maps, but MW3 engine. Next. Yep. That's, and then the year after that, MW3. So MW2 maps are gonna have doors. Yep. Oh uh, yeah. God. And then the BO2, and then BO2 will be next year. So they're just going to release all the BO2 maps and so on the like, current engine. Maybe it'll be like Black Ops Cold War 2, but it'll all be Black Ops 2 maps. It'd just be Cold War. That could work. Cold War 2? I wouldn't mind Cold War 2. I mean, liked Cold War, man. Dude, I had like 70 days played on that. I mean, Black Ops War. 1 was ass, but Black Ops 2 was amazing. I mean, is this I not concerning, Black Ops 1. Is this not concerning? Maybe is this not was... concerning to any of you? They're just re-releasing maps? Like, Here's the thing. I've said it a million times, so people are sick of me saying it. I, don't, I have zero faith in new maps. Zero faith. Yeah, well, I'm not going to lie. When you put it in the... That's like, fair. When you said... So, like, if they give me old maps... I forgot what he said. Oh, yeah. Or Run what... It. what uh, you were like, 
what map has came out recently where it like trumps a fucking yeah what like map, a map what is a right? legendary that was yeah. what i asked the last podcast yeah. what's a legendary map that that has come that out in the last draw, five yeah. years mm, and arsenal is the only one we could think of arsenal. fucking zen, zen said berlin zen, yeah. said, zen said berlin <laughs> was a guy, legendary map that guy doesn't know what's going on <laughs> I, I would have said Tuscan maybe is borderline good, but like Berlin, it's a fucking dark map. You can't even see anything. I hate that. Berlin was ass. I hate maps with the lights out. What's he going to say next? Miami? Map Miami. was fucking horrendous. Map was not good. No, it was not. Because you, you got to think, what are the, the best maps I kinda from liked. Cold War were Black Ops 2 maps. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. And it's like... See, when you put it like that, I'm actually okay with it. That's, ca- Cold that's War, how I feel. Standoff and Raid and Cold War were like actually fun as fuck to play. Yeah, exp- I mean Express. Express. I love that. I, mean, I, I love played good. Express and Search though, but... I mean, still. yeah, still. Like, and then like whenever you go back and play Cold War, like Slums is in it now and Slums Pubs is a, is a lot of fucking fun. There's when just, you put it like that, it could be good. That's kind of how I feel about... Because... Modern Warfare, remember, th- remember Modern Warfare, t- like the last g- g- COD that just came out, dog, it dropped with four maps or some shit. Oh, that was horrible. It dropped with six maps oh, and yeah, two that, of them didn't work. One beach map. Wait, which, which game? The last map, the last game. Uh, MW, MW2? Yeah, MW2. It, like, that game was shite. Like the, it, <laughs> <laughs> it dropped with like, what, like eight maps. One of them was the highway map, so that's just a troll. Oh, dog shit. It's a troll map. With the fucking tires to the right. Broken building to the left, then had the middle where it was like squares. It looked like a fucking oh, yeah. laser tag room. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. That one. But like that's that's kind of how I feel. Is like now had at two least is on the left. The what? Tires far right and go to the back. Jump on the roof in the back. Everything is breakable. Oh, it's, Farm Forty Six or whatever. Yeah, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yep, yeah, that map or whatever the fuck Farm Eighty Six. I don't know. <laughs> do, some, <laughs> some, do you remember that one map where <laughs> every wall was? Oh, breakable? Farm Eighteen. It's not even. I'm not, <laughs> <laughs> not even close. <laughs> Farm Forty Six. <laughs> oh shit! I was thinking of a whole different game. Greenberg, I mean, Greenberg was good. <laughs> Embassy was pretty solid. Mercado was, was solid. <laughs> I mean, nah, Mercado was, nah, never mind. Take that back. Mercado was okay. But there were a couple decent maps. Greenberg, I would say Greenberg and Embassy were both, like, good maps. Crown Raceway? I liked Hotel a lot. Crown Raceway was dope, too, but... No, the, didn't they? The, it was the, in the beta, wasn't it? And then the they took it out? The copyright shit or the yeah. trademark bullshit, whatever it was. Yeah, oh, Weird. dude, I think, the, I think, I think that... That would have been sick to play that. I we played it. We played that uh, map on my in my birthday tournament, the bot bash. Oh, uh, and then they started. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, you're I, fine. I just got real. <laughs> and then they started releasing the horse shit. Black gold would you had night vision. Yeah. Pelio's lighthouse. It was a torrential downpour, yep. lightning storm. Yep. In yeah. in pitch darkness on a state right. Huh. The the. Map the, was a state. The it map, was a state. The, the the mansion was a, the estate mansion. Alberon Hatchery. That map I mean, was fire. That map wasn't that bad. That map was okay. But. Uh, yeah. What I'm saying is next year we're going in knowing that we have high rise scrapyard terminal. With doors? It doesn't matter. Okay. The, okay. the fact that you say that, I, I'm looking at it in a different light now. Yeah. That's kind of how I feel. Because they gave us Alberon I mean, Hatchery. <laughs> like, <laughs> imagine if Modern Warfare 2 had dropped with fucking Strike. Or it dropped with Crash. You know, it. that's kind of like, I didn't like Modern Warfare 19 at all. I, I, didn't mind, I didn't mind that game. But like, I liked the fact that I could play Crash and Vacant and, you know, these maps that I just liked a lot. Yeah. So, I don't know. I, I like it. And I think if, if, it's, a, if it's a Treyarch engine. Crash, wa- crash wagers. Um, Oof, good times. If it's a Treyarch Remastered engine next was year. was doing numbers too. People are on that shit. Right. And that's just the whole ass yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, just literally. The whole, they just re-released the whole yeah. game. Just turned some settings this up game, on it. MW3 might actually be good now that I'm thinking about it. I'm, dude, the kickoff tournaments are going to be War, fire. Cold War was so much fun on those old school maps. It's 150 health, dead silence, all those new maps. Red dots. The gunplay mm. better be. Apparently it's faster movement too. Wait, did you play it's, this game already, Seth? This, the new the one? New no, one? not yet. Like, you're not just saying that? You actually haven't? No, I haven't played it. All right. It. Uh, 
Only some people have played it. Did you get invited to the the next whatever reveal? Yeah. You got it? Yeah. That's what we were talking about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we'll I'm going to that. that. So we'll be there. Yep. So uh I'm I'm I, I actually like a lot of people don't like the old maps coming back. I actually do not mind it. I kind of like it. I think if the next year, the Treyarch year, if it releases with a mixture between Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2 maps, like if it releases with firing range, range slums, like raid, I'm standoff, I mean, that's Bro, a, that's, that would be insane. Like, I think back. that I think the days <laughs> of like asking for new maps for a, for a whole list of new maps every single year is just absurd. No other game does that. No other game in the on the planet does that. Yeah, that's a good point. Halo re-releases the same maps because they're the best. Counter-Strike re-releases the same maps. Like MOBAs and shit, they only use one map. So why why are we putting that much like pressure on the devs to release maps that they consistently can't like keep up with? I I just think we already have 10 years of maps to pick from. Let's just pick the best ones. That's how I You're feel. speaking some real ass shit right now. Right? You convinced me. Like that. You convinced me. You convinced me. I'm pretty excited for this next one. Build. Oh shit. Yeah, this is a wait, Pam. Since since Seth and, and Bose are playing in the Black Ops 2 invitational. Zinny's two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. You have to well, this will be the last thing. You gotta build your dream Black Ops 2 team. With 15 bucks. With 15 bucks. It, okay, Zinny's two. Zinny's a toonie? Damn. <clears throat> Bose is three. Is that you, Bose? That is you. Yeah, Bose is three? Three bucks? What kind of disrespect. Uh, I didn't make this. Who made this? Yeah, Shotzi's down five in Black Ops. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you saying that boy's tripe? <laughs> he might be a few quarters. A few oh, quarters. Shit, <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Uh, you better be talking yeah, like yeah. that when we're on the stage. <laughs> I think uh, Damon's I mean, gonna be raging at him. You gotta get, <laughs> I gotta get Damon for eight. Hey. Oh, gotta get Damon for eight. I'm not gonna. Right to right right. I'm not gonna say Seth because he's right there though. He can't like, afford you anymore. Yeah, whatever. It's all right. <laughs> Weird excuse. Weird excuse. <laughs> I don't buy it. Uh, Nobody at home bought it. <laughs> it's just weird. Nameless, because I'm gonna get nameless and I'm gonna get bows. That's thirteen. Thirteen. So you got thirteen. Uh, you're attached. <laughs> or Donnie. Please take attach. I'm doing attach. Or Donnie, yeah. No, I'm getting attached. Attach? Yep. Damn, sorry, Zen. Because I know I know Bo's fucks with Damon. And attach. I just like attach a lot. And world, world champ. World champ as well. What else did I say? Nameless. Nameless. Oh yeah, nameless. Yeah. You guys smoked complexity that one time. Oh yeah. Yep. That's a good team. Yeah, that's my squad. We did. What about you, Seth? I mean, I'm picking me all day, every day. <laughs> uh, uh, me, Bose. Oh, dude, I can't, ca I can't take Killa, too. That's 11 bucks. I mean, dude, $8 is steep, bro. Is I'm not picking me. I'm not, I'm not picking me. You're not picking you. No, I'm not picking me. I'm going to take Nade Shot. Oh, shit. Bose, Killa. What am I at? 11. 11. 11? Now what do I do? Do I have a coach? <laughs> you get another three dollars or two dollars. All right, attach and then Zinny coaching the team. Mm. Kind of calls with Zinny. Eight dollars is steep for one of us. Eight dollars is steep, but I mean that is the Rushmore. So that, imagine this is just how the Warriors like the made their teams and, like, they budgeted it all shit. out. Like mm. all right, <laughs> I'm excited for that to get tweeted. I think that's about a. Uh, has that already been tweeted or now? Looks like it's on Twitter. Oh, it's on his DMs, I think. Uh, yeah, so I think I think uh, they're gonna tweet that pretty soon. And how does your shit say Twitter still, not X? Damn. Also, why are you, the URL right. is still Twitter? Why are you not oh, on night is. mode? I don't use night mode. Wait, Seth, how much have you been getting from uh, from Elon on Twitter? Fifty bucks for me. Fifty eight. Fifty. I got like a twenty six I mean, I don't, bomb. I don't tweet, so twenty six dollars. Really? Really? So I, I have my shit set much. up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I saw KSI made 1500 and when he told me that there, I had lost hope. Yeah. <laughs> KSI's, is making, no KSI's making 1500 <laughs> we're, for real. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to start spamming some more ads, man. Come Way on, Elon. More. 
All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching uh, this episode of the Out to Podcast. We will be next week. We will be back next week. And if you don't watch it, we will find you and we will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs>